So it looks like Jamie Perkins' ex-friends are speaking out about what is going on and what they're saying might shock you and bring a lot of thought into this entire situation. Hey guys, that's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. I would appreciate it. It is daily and consistent content. And let's get straight into this because this debacle that is going on between Nikki Thought and Jamie Perkins from the video that Jamie has put out, it's going to be follow-up videos because a lot of updates are going to take place. And, you know, we can't really formulate a proper proper conclusion until you know she wants to say what she wants to say because clearly I know right now she's probably planning that YouTube video child and going back and forth and going to the iCloud to grab the receipts that's what I hope because I feel like she's going to come with a juggernaut of information but anyways these friends are friends that used to be friends with Jamie Perkins they are now siding with this individual and this is what they say don't make me spill the tea because I've been waiting for tea time um, somebody says, um, his name is Haifu, in response to Jamie Perkins' video, which basically shows Jamie relax because don't make me spill that tea. Another friend called Dolly Folk says, no way, sorry, I know Nikki, and he is just completely manipulating this entire situation. Just remember, you're watching what he's editing, guys. Now, these particular people are friends with Nikki, but they are ex-friends of Jamie Perkins. So they used to be friends with Jamie, but they're now friends with Nikki. So... That in itself speaks volumes that they initially knew Jamie Perkins and he's put out this entire video with all of these allegations, videos included, evidence included. However, the ex-friends of his are siding with Nikki Thought and are saying that he's being manipulative. He's saying that, you know, that video that we're watching is a video that he's editing, obviously. Now, granted, there is evidence in what Jamie's saying and that these messages from the ex-friends don't make Nikki Thought this innocent individual, but it just goes to show you that there's a lot more that we don't know. There's a lot more to this story and that you know the story that's been painted of Nikki Thought from this video may not be as accurate or it is accurate and that Jamie Perkins is not as innocent. I think the situation is not black and white. I feel like they're both wrong to an extent. However, I think that we are not seeing the wrongs of Jamie Perkins and the video that he's put out can be carefully manipulated, which is what these friends are saying. And they know they know these people personally. I don't know any of these people. So they know these people personally and they're saying we know these two. He's being manipulative. He's editing things carefully, X, Y, Z. So we'll just see what happens. He's obviously got the upper hand. She didn't know this was coming out, obviously. And now she's in the bad at the moment. And we'll just see what she's going to say. I did say yesterday that the video that Jamie Perkins put up was monetized. It was not monetized. I'd like to make that very clear. Very, very clear. Apologies for that as well, because I thought it was monetized from what I was seeing. But because I saw ads on it. But I think YouTube, this day and age, put ads on videos regardless of whether you monetize or not for their own sake. I think that's a new feature YouTube have just done over the past year or so. So that video from his from him is not monetized. I just, at the end of the day, might not at the end of the day, child, because Nikki still hasn't spoken. I don't know why you would want to say all of this that impacts all your children. Whilst I understand that you, a picture is painted of you that's not true and you want to speak out, and if you have been abused by a narcissist, you want to speak out, you want to record things from a narcissist, which is also very common. Narcissists say things and manipulate things so often to you that you feel like you're gaslighting yourself and you know you want to record it. So I get all of that, but also at the expense of your children, I just don't think it's worth it because where are you going to go from here? I just don't understand. Where are you going to go from here? I also feel like because it's a big relationship issue, a lot of us naturally are going to project our own issues onto theirs. And I don't think that we should do that because we're projecting our own PTSD, our own trauma, our own relationship issues and experiences onto a relationship with people where we don't know them and we don't know what is going on behind closed doors. So I don't think that's an accurate perspective to make, but Jamie Perkins' ex-friends coming out, friends that used to be his friends coming out, siding with Nikki Thought speaks volumes in my eyes. And I think this is just an interesting nugget to see what Nikki Thought is going to say. Everybody is waiting. I do think that she should say something because she wants to defend herself. I also think that, you know, she's not innocent. And I think that the, the videos showed it with, you know, this aggressive behavior or especially when it comes to her admitting that she hit him the Disneyland stuff that the dentist appointments all of that was wrong on her behalf but is there more that meets the eye to this I don't know is one wrongs being shown and the other person's wrongs being carefully covered who knows guys I don't know but it definitely seems to be interesting um, to say the least 
this may be dumb for me to say, and I think people won't agree with me when it comes to me saying this, but if I'm in a frustrated mood and you put a camera in my face, best believe I'm coming to you to slap that camera out your face. Best believe I'm doing that. What I did not like in that video with her is that she was rude to Jamie Perkins' mother. She, and you know, her mother is in her 80s. You do not get rude to people in the elderly in any capacity. I think it's very disrespectful. But not only that, then you would use your ch children to say, you will never see my kids again. That is a very much weaponized narcissistic statement for somebody to say. A lot of people do that when they have kids they just use them as ammunition to hurt somebody else and I just don't think that's fair for her to say in any capacity. I don't know what you guys make of this, whether you guys agree or disagree, whether you think there's more to the story, whether you guys are Team Jamie, Team Nucky, Team Nikki. As of right now, I don't know what team I'm on right now. I feel like Jamie has a lot of evidence at hand um, and I think that domestic violence is something very serious, very serious indeed, but I just don't think it's crazy for me to say that I would want to hear what she wants to say, considering that she's denying a lot of the stuff that he's said and etc. And that, you know, I want to know the what else was going on in terms of her reactions but i don't think that she's innocent in this at all anyways let me know your thoughts i want to come to this one i'll give you guys a quick six minute update subscribe to the channel click that button it is daily and consistent content i would appreciate it it's one click 24 7 content subscribe and i'll catch you guys soon for another video